Hello, hello. It's Kenny Evans here. Another car video. The topic of this video is how to tell if your girl is cheating on you. Yes, this is obviously a very, very, very uh, important topic. All men want to know if their girl is cheating on them and how to turn it around. You know, but this video is all about how to tell she is cheating on you. Because if you don't know, when she decides to leave, you will be shocked and you will be even more depressed because you were quote unquote blindsided. You know, so we got to get you prepared for that. Make sure you're not blindsided and you know what is going on. So first and foremost... If she changes her certain routines that she does with you, maybe you guys like to go for a walk every Tuesday after work and, you know, all of a sudden she's like, oh, I don't feel like doing that. Or maybe you guys like to watch TV or a certain show at night together and maybe she's instead of doing that, she's on her phone. She's like, yeah, I'd rather not, you know, or maybe you guys like to cook together on a Saturday night, you know, anything. And then she decides she doesn't feel like doing it. Anything that shows a sudden change of something that you guys both once enjoyed doing together. That is a huge red flag. Then next one here is and of course these are in no particular order but the next one is she is secretive all of a sudden maybe you guys used to be so comfortable with each other you could share phones she could look in your phone you could look in her phone now all of a sudden she doesn't feel so comfortable uh letting you look in her phone you know or she is a little bit more uh, distant when it comes, or well, she's not um, comfortable answering certain questions about certain things um, that she 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 likes. Maybe she went out with her friends, you know, and um, <laughs> you ask her what she did or if it was fun. She's like, yeah, it was okay, but she never really tells you what she did or who she did it with. You know, you just assume it's her friends. But she doesn't give you really any, informa any uh, quality information. You know what I mean? So those are all things you got to look out for because those are never good um, when they happen. But this next one we got here is she gets angry with you whenever you question her about certain topics. You know, maybe you, you, you're able to look in her phone and you see she's talking to a guy. It's very casual. But you could tell they're building a relationship. You know, they're very friendly and they're a little flirty. You talk to her about it. And of course, you would have gone through her phone, which is a red flag, but you felt like you had to do it because, you know, you're seeing these other two flags, you know, so you felt like you had to do it. And she gets angry at you for going through her phone and questioning her about it, you know, and she just blows up on you. Um, when you question her about things that you should question her about. But of course, the fact that she did not answer and she got angry shows that there's something there. She obviously has some passion for that guy. You know what I mean? And it's it's not good. It's not good, you know, or whoever the person she was talking to, you know. So um, that is definitely something to look out for as well. Ah, the next one here is you guys don't have sex as often. Obviously, this is a pretty easy one, you know, especially for people who have sex maybe, you know, three to five times a week. You know, obviously, you have those relationships where people don't have sex as often. But for guy, people who have sex uh, with their girls three to five times a week. And, you know, all of a sudden she's not as comfortable doing things sexually with you or 
when she does do things sexually with you, it's something different and new. You enjoy it, but then you're wondering where she got it from. Where did she learn that? You know, it's like, hmm. I mean, you're like, man, that move was that move was sexy, but then <laughs> where'd you where'd you learn that from? You know what I mean? And she said, oh, I'll just learn from one of my girlfriends or something. It's like. I mean, it could happen where, sure, they, her and her girlfriends could talk and they could talk about things that the, her girlfriends could talk about things that they've done with guys that guys liked and told her. But, you know, if that doesn't happen very often, it's, 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 it's not likely to be true. You know what I mean? Um, but of course, you know, if she doesn't even want to have sex. Or she's kind of tired when you try to initiate after being like a jackrabbit and you guys just going at it. I mean, obviously, that's a huge red flag and you got to always be aware of that and, and make sure that you guys are, um, you know, talking and communicating and figure out what's going on. You know what I mean? Because that is a sign that your girl could be cheating on you, you know. But... Then the next sign is she talks about a guy a lot in a positive light. You know, positive light as well as a negative light because sometimes a girl could talk bad about a guy but secretly really like him. You know, she wants to throw it off to you or people around, but then whenever she gets that opportunity with that guy secretly, you know, they, they do that thing. But, of course, if she's talking about a guy who you don't know, positively consistently yeah obviously she has feelings for that guy or she she's starting to develop feelings you know and especially if they're at work or school and you know you're not going to be around you know i think the best thing you could do and this will be a true test to see how um, comfortable she is with you and uh, with you and that guy that she's talking about um, uh, together Ask her to invite that guy over, you know, just to kind of get to know him, you know. Um, of course, it could be a double-edged sword because if she goes along with it, it could just to get that guy ingratiated with you so you see him as a friendly guy, but then behind your back, they could still be, you know, fucking with each other. Or if she doesn't go along with it then obviously you know maybe she's not as comfortable with that because she has strong or she's developing feelings or has strong feelings for that guy so she doesn't want you to see that you know so um it could really go either way but you definitely got to understand that you have to make sure if a girl even if she's talking negative about a guy and she's doing it consistently and consistently but she's constantly giving that guy attention that is is not good either. But if she's obviously talking good about a guy consistently, consistently and giving attention, then that could be a problem as well. So uh, you always got to look out for that. Make sure that you're aware of the conversation and uh, what uh, people are in that a conversation and are the popular topics within that conversation. So that'll give you an idea of where she's at or where she could be going. So last one here, she's dissing around you. I, and I know I've, I've kind of mentioned other, um, uh, I guess, <laughs> uh, indications of this that kind of relate, but she's distant. Again, she doesn't really want to have sex with you. Maybe she changes the routine. She's not spending as much time with you. You know, all these things are important for understanding that she is falling apart. She's pulling away from you. Her attraction is not as high as it used to be. You know, so you have to understand uh, first that she is falling apart. But second, you have to understand how to get her closer to you again. You know, because if you just let her go, obviously she's going to be gone and she's going to be cheating. You know what I mean? But these are all signs that a girl potentially is cheating on you or is about to cheat on you. You know, so you have to always pay attention to them and realize that 
if you're not able to correct them and things get worse again you have to be that you got to be willing to let them go you got to be willing to let them go you know what i mean but if things do get better continue to work on it you know what i mean and uh, one thing that coach Cora wayne says whenever a girl cheats on you you don't get mad don't get mad at the guy. You never get mad at the guy. I don't give the care. I don't give. I don't care if the guy is your best friend. You don't get mad at the guy. At least initially. If it's someone like your best friend, family, sure. You cut them off after the fact. But when it comes to the girl, you say, hey, if you, and this is still granted, if you want to be with her, you say, hey, you know, um, I see you, obviously you are cheating and you want to step outside of the relationship and I am not actually interested in that and I don't uh, respect that or condone that so you can do you I'm gonna do me and whenever you're ready if I'm not already in a relationship or taken you know uh, for whatever reason then you can give me a call and we can get back together but until then I got to do me, you know, so very simple thing you could do uh, if and when your girl does cheat, you know, because we don't ever want to blow up the situation because it makes you look bad when you get angry and you want to beat up the guy, especially the guy who, who probably didn't know you were in a relationship. But even if he did, it's your girl's responsibility to not cheat on you, not this guy. I don't care if it's your brother, your best friend, your cousin, as much as y'all are supposed to be cool, your girl and you are supposed to be cooler. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, that's all I got for y'all. Keep that stuff in mind. And I want y'all to have some success here with these ladies out here. You know, y'all can do it. Y'all y'all are strong, confident men. You know what I mean? So, um, with that being said, if you enjoy this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Hit that donation button. You know, I appreciate all donations. And of course... Uh, let me know what other topics you'd like me to talk about. You know, I'd like some engagement so I understand what you guys are, are looking for from my channel. You know, um, and of course, when it comes to the strong and confident men, they are the happiest men. You know, so um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And um, till next week. Stay safe. I'll see you then.